Welcome to Dress Shop 2 Stage Tab. We continue our project from the Materials tab with a model all accessorized and patterned. When opening the Stage tab and Stage Library, we notice that our model takes a pose, but there are fitment issues. There is a hole in the arm and the shoes won't fit right. No worries, we can click on the smoothing button and in 20 to 30 seconds, both the garment and the accessories will fit perfectly. Now we can rotate the model around to inspect and by moving the posing slider, also make her move between base pose and pose one. Rather than rotating the model manually, we can set up a rotate left or rotate right from the navigation menu. Time to add background, in this case, the lit runway image. As our model continues to rotate, we can even pick an animation and music to create a real runway experience. As with backgrounds and poses, animation can be imported from DAS Studio via the Collada format. If we see a position we like, we can also take a snapshot photo and name it Photo 2. Since we are saving, this is a good time to export the garment using the export button. This will create two DAS Studio compatible files, one for the garment and one for accessories. Finally, it's probably a good idea to save the project so that we can come back and continue to work on it. All garment parts and libraries will be saved this way. Dress Shop 2 DAS Studio Export. Starting with Genesis Basic Female on stage, we use the file import to import the saved garment file called Dress in the OBJ folder. We also import the second file called Dress Accessories into DAS Studio. Both are imported using the Poser import settings. Those familiar with DAS Studio know that garments and accessories need to conform to the model, in this case Genesis. Using the figure transfer utility, we choose Genesis as the source and dress as the target. We repeat the same for the dress accessories. The dress still does not seem to fit perfectly. Time to smooth. Under Figure Geometry, we use the Apply Smoothing to smooth the garment. We repeat the same for accessories. Now there's a perfect fit. Going to the Surface tab, we need to adjust the specular strength from 100 to 0 for each of the parts of the garment. In parts that require semi-transparency, we need to adjust the opacity for those down as well. Finally, we can import the same background as before and pose the model as we like.
When all is set, we can use Data Studio to render a perfect image of our new dress.